in this video we will go through the process of configuring snot intrusion detection system so snot is an open source ids ips tool ids stands for intrusion detection system which will alert any anomaly of the traffic that you define in your policy and ips is intrusion prevention system which will deny any traffic which finds it like an anomaly all these rules and all snot rules you will define and snot is a widely used um, in the network security domain along with firewalls and in this video we will be using a sample rule set and configure the snot intrusion detection alert in the next video we will look into the intrusion prevention part of it so first we will look into a particular agenda for this particular uh, video we will be going through installing and configuring snot we will be configuring the interface to listen on we will be configuring the address range for your no local network configure new rules test them so we'll be doing a lot of things so to get everything in perspective let's um, switch user as root and once you are in in the root um, uh, the command that you can use is snot hyphen capital V so snot hyphen capital V will let you know whether the snot program is um, installed on your um, system and it will also tell you which version of snot you have so in this case you have version 2.9.7.0 and in, if you do not have snot you can use app install snot and it will install snot for you and before you do this it's really um, advisable to do a sudo apt update so that will update your local cache and then you run your sudo apt install snot so that will install the snot for you and to see whether the snot is uh, you know correctly processing the packets you can use a verbose command and that verbose command will be snot hyphen small v so what this will do is it will check whether the packets are received properly and processed correctly so this will be taking some time like you can cancel it and see if there are any errors so what this runs is something called a packet dump mode so it it collects the packet make sure the packets are getting processed correctly so this is a verbose command if you have any problem with your installation you will come to know with this particular command so let's wait for it to uh, close this and it will tell you whether it found any errors and when you run snot in the verbose mode um, this is how the results are going to be like um, it gives you the summary of the packet processing that happened for about uh, 66.57 seconds so you will have the runtime uh, analysis of your packet processing and if you have any errors you will come to know in this one so let's clear the screen we will now create a rule set to allow icmp traffic in ids mode which will just alert us it will not deny or block the traffic and before we go ahead and collect some network information so let's collect some network information we can use ip address show this will give us uh, the subnet which we are running on which is 192.168.0.3 slash 24 so this is the network uh, cider where we'll be running our snot on so when we installed snot uh, it creates a something called a local dot rules file so now we will go ahead and uh, edit that file and to edit we use uh, g edit etc it's always in this etc snot rules and the file name is local dot rules that brings up our um, Uh, local rules file and we are going to add a rule so the rule definition in snot always starts with 
the action it wants to take so for example uh, what we are doing here is we are just alerting anything that happens on the icmp traffic it can be tcp it can be udp it can be mail traffic whatever it is so your source destination any port the traffic direction the traffic direction will be your 192 dot um i think it's 168 dot zero dot just a minute let me get the 0 0.3 slash 24 3 slash 24 so this is your cider block and you're going to listen to any port and the message that you're basically providing with this particular event uh, you can use the message option You're saying that this is an ICMP event and you are providing a snot ID. A snot ID should be more than a 1 million. So what I'm going to do is basically do it at 1 million 9. So close the thing. So right now we have our first snot IDS rule which will alert if there is any traffic um, on a particular uh, icmp uh, which is going from any to any on this particular cider block to any port will give us this error message so let's save this file and what we can do right now is basically we can test whether that particular rule is validated or not sometimes uh, we make small small mistakes in in this configuring rules so it's always better to verify that and the way you can do that uh, basically you can use uh, snot uh, since you're running this on the test configuration let's use pseudo permissions uh, hyphen t for test and C for your configuration file and the location of your configuration file. Snot rules local dot rules. That's the file we have edited. So as you see, um, it, it gave us an fatal error. So the way we mentioned um, the uh, SRS value is um, not accepted. So let's go back and edit that particular uh, file again. So you understood how important is it uh, to, you know, uh, to test your snort rules every time. So again, we go to gedit or you can use uh, vi and you can use vim or you can use nano to do this file editing since we are using uh, a gui version of ubuntu i prefer using the gedit and the reason why you're not seeing the gedit open right now is basically you did not execute it using a uh, sudo so that brings the file and now uh, we will edit the SID value. So let's go ahead. Uh, the error with this file is very simple. Like uh, it should be like this. We'll add one more save. So let's save this file now. With that saved. Now let's go back, uh, clear the screen. We will run the snot test again. So we already have our command, which is sudo snot hyphen t for test, c for configuration file, and the location of the local rules file that we created with the snot rule to alert. And it 
tells us that it's not successfully validated the configuration. So whenever you write a rule, it's always better to uh, test and validate that particular rule before you uh, actually implement it. And now we are going to run the snot. Um, in order to do that, we will use sudo snot hyphen D. D is basically dump the application layer. We are using dash L. Dash L is basically log to a particular directory. That's where you can see all your alerts and that we will be using the current directory, which is dot and the backward slash and the configuration file, which will be your EPC, uh, your snot, rules and local dot rules, the configuration file, which you just created. So this will run the snot with that particular IDS system. So what we're going to do right now is basically we are going to switch to a Windows Server or Windows 10 desktop. And before we do that, so this is a Windows desktop. We are going to use um, a simple ping 192.168.1.1. And it's simple ping. So we are able to ping. Now let's switch back to our Ubuntu and let's cancel or exit the snot process. So now snot has exited and you can clearly see there, there are eight alerts that are logged for the ping that we have done from our Windows 10 desktop to this particular Ubuntu server. We have logged eight alerts and where you can find these alerts is basically since we did it on the root directory, you have an alert configured here. Sorry, sorry, uh, it's not a directory. Uh, you can cat that file and you can see from which server you received the ping and what was the response. So you'll be able to log the echo as well as the echo reply from 192.168.0.1, that's our Windows uh, 10. 192.168.0.3 is our Ubuntu server. So we can log all these events. You can configure these detection rules or alert rules for any type of traffic that you see on your uh, servers and you can log, log it and you can use it for further investigations and further things. Now, this is all in the intrusion detection system. We will be looking at the intrusion prevention system in the next video where it will actually deny the traffic. So that's it for this video. I hope this video is informative. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Please do subscribe to the channel and um, if you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section. Till the next video, happy learning and have a great day.